Chomp, chomp. Gators tight end Kyle Pitts is the highest drafted tight end in the common draft era. Went fourth overall to the Atlanta Falcons. In just eight games last season, he had 770 receiving yards, most in FBS among tight ends, and 12 receiving touchdowns, tied for the most in FBS among tight ends. Equally as impressive, he had 43 receptions and zero zippy drops last season at Florida. Now looking to help Matt Ryan in Atlanta. All right, so welcome to CBS Sports Draft analyst Ryan Wilson and former Louisiana running back and Sportsline expert Emery Hunt, who join us from Cleveland. Going to run down the NFC South, hand out grades for each team, starting with the Falcons. Ryan, how are you evaluating Atlanta's 2021 draft? Akeem, I gave him a B plus, but it starts with Kyle Pitts there at number four. They weren't moving off that pick. Arthur Blank is clearly happy rolling with Matt Ryan for another year, maybe two. And if you're going to do that, Kyle Pitts seems like the obvious choice behind uh, door number one there with that number four overall pick. He'll obviously team up with Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and this offense will be as explosive as ever. But then the question becomes, how do you fix the defense? Well, they did that with their next pick, and Richie Grant, the safety at UCF, can play center field, can play the little slot, will come downhill and run you over, and he's pretty good in coverage sideline to sideline. So that's a pick I like there as well. And finally, I'll mention Jalen Mayfield, who had some first-round buzz, but I think he would have been better served playing a little more football at the college level. He opted out. I understand that. He'll play right tackle. He can even kick inside to guard if you need him there. And there were some some conversations that, you know, a month or so ago that the Falcons might consider Panay Sewell at number four, went with Pitts, and now they get their offensive lineman in round three. You know, I like I like what Atlanta did. I gave them an A+. Plus. You, you look at what they do well, they went ahead and attacked playmakers. They got Kyle Pitts. Richard Grant was my number one combo safety that you can put in the in the alley. Have him a strong safety. I'm sorry, you can put him in the alley, though, because he's so versatile. He can play strong or free. Darren Hall is one of my favorite prospects to watch. You could never go wrong with the San Diego State Aztec defensive back. This guy can play corner, safety, any one of the corner spots in the secondary, plus both safety spots. So he helps them with his versatility. And Avery Williams out of Boise State, yes, he's a dynamic returner. He's your day one starter at kickoff and punt returner. But don't underestimate his ability as a cornerback. He can mirror match with his footwork, has great ball skills and instincts, and can also play deep in the the deep third if you want him to be a safety so he can do a lot of things so i believe versatility was the name of the game for atlanta and they were able to accomplish that throughout the draft want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment